dear students in the previous uh, slides or video one video you have seen about uh, the guideways various types of guideways you have seen uh, that two two types of special guideways which are named as hydrostatic and uh, aerostatic guideways that diagram material also have uploaded hydro means the oil oil related with the pressure of oil the guideways are operated and aerostatic means uh, the pressurized air is uh, supplied so that there is a main part in the guideways after the guideways the next comes another important uh, the drives in case of cnc machines its main function regarding motion to a slide according to the, the commands provided that is feed drives so here you can see the introduction the driving system as an important component of the cnc machine as it is dependent upon its accuracy repeatability and their positions locations etc so again in this drives there are two types spindle drives and feed drives because uh, the two types of motions will be the linear motion as well as rotary motion so according to uh, that types so two there are mainly two types spindle drives and feed drives uh, spindle drives are used to provide angular motion to the workpiece or the cutting tool whereas the feed drives uh, they drive the slide or the table so for driving or to get the motion may be angular or the sliding the power is required so that power has to be converted or transmitted to this drives electric uh, power they are first supplied to the motor on the motor so it is transferred to the driving systems or to these drives that transfer which you can call it as a transmission system that to mechanical transmission system so in this diagram you can see spindle and feed drives so the motor shaft of the motor through the belt how it is transferred to the spindle of the cnc machine to get the angular or the rotating motion this is an just introduction about the feed and spindle drives both you can see here in this in the figure 1 rotary to rotary conversion the diagram is it is there from the motor rotary motion of the motor to the rotary motion of the workpiece in the figure 2 second you can see here the feed drive the rotary motion of the uh, motor is transferred into the linear motion of the work table or <coughs> the slide through the ball screw and nut so before going to the types or the details first what are the requirements of the feed drive that uh, we can list out here say 
one high torque to base ratio low armature or motor inertia low electrical and mechanical time constants permanent magnet construction maximum speed up to 3000 rpm and high peak torque for quick response the next one is required constant torque for overcoming frictional and working force must be provided so about uh, uh, some eight or nine uh, are there uh, regarding uh, remaining points say another uh, you can write it as variable speed with a range of uh, 1 is to 20,000 apart from this say it must run smoothly without uh, uh, much waviness that can also be added so that to perform the feed drive in a uh, smooth manner these are the requirements of the uh, feed drive so as to get the highest efficiency accuracy whatever you can find related same one diagram we can see here so the main uh, the part for spindle drives or say feed drives you can say is the motor as we saw in the figure in the second slide so motor is the main part for the spindle drives as well as the cnc drives so these motors are not of like ordinary type these are a special type we can call as servo motor servo motors of course it's a introduction uh, so which helps these servo motors helps for exact position positioning of the slides or the drives say positions mechanical elements within a given time and with a given precision and they can also operate under lower ranges also so few the features you can call are the dynamics their dynamics position exactness speed regulation range peak torque etc the diagram you can see here uh, of the transmission of the motor motion or power from motor to the uh, drive or to the table you can say depending upon the slide one is rack and pinion and another is ball screw transmission is introduction of course in this uh, in the third slide this is this may come as one question as the requirements of the feed drives 